Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Modest Farmer and welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get Rose Shade for your Roblox. Rose Shade is basically like sunglasses, but for your game, it makes everything look a lot better than what it originally does. Now, to get Rose Shade, all you need to do is go to roseshade.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And all you've got to do here is just click download Rose Shade. And then you want to go for the light version. You can go for the, uh, the pro version, but you will have to pay for that. And then you just gotta wait here. And then just press skip. I already have it, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. So save. And there we go. That's that. Let's just close this. We're gonna open up our download folder. Here's Rose Shade here. Just moved out of my download folder. I'm just gonna double click it. And then you want to do, you just want to click install. You want to go for the F8 option and F7. If you can't see it, it's just dark mode for some reason. And you want to click next. Leave all of these, leave all of these checked. And then just click install. Okay, now everything's just been installed. We just click next. And then we just click close and follow. Obviously, the follow just takes you straight to the, uh, to, to the creator's Roblox account. You can follow them if you want. It's up to you. And now, all we've got to do is just quickly open up Roblox and go from there. Okay, guys, we've now loaded into a game. For instance, we're using doors as an example. As you can see, um, we have no of the shaders activated right now so all you gotta do is press f7 this will bring up a menu on the left now these are not the settings that i would use these are the settings that came with rose shade automatically so you can just run through have a look through and just and just try different things like for instance let's try litter box obviously you won't see anything just yet why is that well you need to press the f8 key on your keyboard and that will activate everything that has been enabled and now, if we click letter box, you'll get these black bars. And that is, this is pretty much what the shade of rose shade will look like. And if you press F8 again, you can really see the difference between them. And there you go. That is how you get rose shade. Now, if you want to have settings like mine, my settings change all the time. So there isn't really a preset that I use. I just keep changing them all the time, to, depending on what game. And also, it also depends on your computer. If you're, if you're running on a laptop, this may not work for you. If you're running on a really beefy computer, then this will work better. So be mindful of what kind of computer you are using to run Roshade. And if you do have any problems with Roshade and it does not work for you, what you're going to do is literally relaunch the, um, the download folder or the file, and then just click uninstall. I can show you how to do that right now. Now, to uninstall Rose Shade, all you gotta do is open up the file, and then just click uninstall. And then you wanna click uninstall shaders and textures, screenshots, and presets, and then just click uninstall. And that will completely remove Rose Shade from your system, and it'll put you back to the very beginning how you had it before. Now. I'm not going to do that because, you know, I don't have any problems. So that's good. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope this helped you understand what Rose Shade is and how it works. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.